It is a simple story of a humble man who dedicated his life to good works and had a profound effect on an entire city, its people, and millions worldwide. It is a story that touches our hearts and our faith, one that gives us hope in difficult times. For generations, Solanus Casey has been revered as a wonder worker, God's instrument for miracles and favors. 21 years ago, I was diagnosed with a rare brain cancer. I was told that I had a 20% chance of a five-year survival, but God and Father Solanus had a different plan. I'm one of Father Solanus's many miracles. Today, we honor that man, Solanus Casey, who walked and worked among us in Detroit, Harlem, Yonkers, and Huntington, Indiana. As a porter at St. Bonaventure, he was the church's doorkeeper, and he opened the door to so many in need. He interceded for us, whether we had a sick child, an incurable disease, or managed a plant that had to lay off workers at Christmas. He believed in thanking God in advance, a message that continues to inspire now for nearly 90 years. He started his life on a farm near Oak Grove, Wisconsin, the sixth of 15 children born to Irish immigrants. Many of those family members are with us today. Father Solanus is my grandfather's brother. He was a very humble, uh, prayerful man who um, was really ahead of his time in so many ways. He was ordained a Capuchin in 1904 and came to our city when he prayed to the Blessed Mother for guidance and heard, go to Detroit. He worked for 20 years at St. Bonaventure on Mount Elliot. His was a life of service and love for people. As a porter at St. Bonaventure, he was the church's doorkeeper and he opened the door to so many in need, interceding for cures and other blessings in their life. He died at the age of 86 on July 31st, 1957 at St. John's Hospital in Detroit at the same hour and day of his first mass 53 years earlier. Twenty thousand people came to his funeral. It is truly amazing what his work and love created. He co-founded the Capuchin Soup Kitchen in 1929 at the height of the worst Great Depression in this country. It continues today, serving one million meals each year. The Capuchins operate an on-the-rise bakery, an earthworks urban farm, harvesting six tons of produce a year, and the Solanus Casey Spiritual Center, which receives 250,000 visitors annually, all accomplished through the Capuchins, raising each dollar each year, 15 million in all, without government assistance. On May 4th of this year, Pope Francis proclaimed Solanus Casey as blessed, the last step before canonization. Today, our Holy Father has affirmed the authenticity of the miracle through the intercession of Father Solanus, and now he's on his way to beatification. And in order to be considered blessed, a miracle needs to be witnessed, documented by a panel of physicians as having, quote, no medical or scientific explanation for a cure. 
a woman had an incurable genetic skin disease. She was praying at Father Slanus's tomb. She had a long list of favors for other people. However, at the end of her requests, she had a strong sense. An inner voice said, ask for yourself. The cure was instantaneous. This remarkable achievement has only happened twice in our country that an American-born male has been named blessed by the Holy Father and the Vatican. It is the final step toward sainthood. Today, we celebrate a great and humble man who walked among us and reminded us through his kindness and love that good works have the power to change lives, to change a city, to change the world. From him, we understand the full measure of caring for our neighbors, whatever their need. Today, we will walk from this moment, rededicating our effort to honor his memory while embracing the simple yet profound message of humility and good works in our community. We celebrate today that Father Solanus has given himself in that spirit of humble giving, in the same spirit of Christ crucified, an example for all of us of how we can be the instruments of God's redeeming grace to the world. Father Solanus was a person who always encouraged people to pray, and um, he would uh, often say to them, pray, have faith, trust in God, things will be all right. He will be a wonderful saint for our times because this is what we need, good, solid faith, confidence in God, simple a life. Um, he'll be a great model for the church today. God made me to know him. Oh, what a blessed day. God bless you all.